what you want you don't get but there is one thing for sure what you believe that you deserve is what you will actually get so we need to stop complaining while compromising someone can actually love you so much and still overlook you and still take you for granted my name is peter auditor and in this channel i do videos on faith relationship and ta -da 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 -da, lifestyle you are most welcome if it's your first time i really do appreciate you to my returning subscribers hey hey team peter thank you so much for sticking around and staying and supporting me a day back i talked to a friend of mine who opened up to me and she allowed me to share her story but because she watched my other video she called me and told me i was like bitch you know what i've been dating this guy for a long time and it was good we're okay but after some time things have changed he used to be really nice helpful thoughtful so i went on and asked more questions but what i realized is that he's now taking her for granted because he knows she's not going anywhere she's gonna stay there i mean that's what is happening and today we are taking so many things for granted our health our parents our relationship our family members our friendships we are taking everything that is more valuable in our lives for granted maybe you are taking someone for granted you know maybe you are the victim or the person being taken for granted because today our loved ones are sometimes consistent you know with what they do in loving us and appreciating us but we don't actually pay attention to those things we don't credit them for those things for example today our parents you find that it's very easy for uh, a son or a daughter to you know give a pledge of maybe like two million for a friend's wedding but they can't even buy their mother airtime they can go maybe from Kampala to maybe Lira for a friend's wedding or something of a sort and not go and visit their parents. It's just easy. We don't appreciate what we have until we lose it. So I'm here to, to you know, let's just have a, a conversation on really what is happening. Why are we taking people for granted and why are people taking us for granted? And the one thing I want to talk about is familiarity. Sometimes we get so familiar with our loved ones because they're close to us doesn't mean they're just, you know, the people we need to just take for granted. These are people we have to pay attention to. These are people we have to always invest our love in because they are the constant people in our lives. We joke around with the constant people and actually give attention to the bypasses. Like families, our parents, we play around with this parents god has given us for the short time maybe some of them are really old instead of you spending more time with them you just you know don't care in relationship you there are women crying out there because they have mean husbands you have an amazing husband you have an amazing wife but what you're doing is just take them for granted because now you're like okay i'm married to this one for better for while she will stay here she's not going anywhere yes she might stay but you stay with a woman who is empty who has nothing to give to you anymore you don't take your wife for dates when you were pursuing her you told her she's beautiful you took her out for the best lunch and all that and now she's a housewife you can't take her out instead you're hanging out with you know your workmates and all that and she's just left behind because you're now thinking oh she's a housewife i mean i provide her everything all she has to do is cook have the babies take care of them or maybe some women just think so that the men just get the money, they do the rest, or they're the brains behind everything. It is okay. But you are taking your partner for granted. That familiarity is good to have a friendship, but sometimes some friendships become a nuisance. So avoid that and make sure that your marriage is, you know, it's something that keeps its value and meaning forever. Respect each other remind each other of how valuable how amazing they appreciate take time men love i know men love women think it's just us who love to be appreciated men love i tell them that i pour my husband with affection i tell him things eh? that just he'd be like yo wh wh why are you coming up for me but now he's used to it because he's realized that i'm intentional about it don't take the people close to you for granted and then the other reason is some people are just beyond comprehension. Some people are 
so giving, so loving, so kind. And God has given you such a person, such a friend, such a parent, you know, such a partner. Why are you messing it up by taking them for granted? Because I'm so kind to you, because I don't talk a lot, because I don't, you know, do certain things like other people react a, a certain way. Now you're just going to just take me for granted? No. No. Instead, you're supposed to love me. And that is so common because there are women I know of a cousin who is a very calm, very calm man. But because he's calm, the wife thinks he can bully him and do whatever I want. And sometimes he's the kind of guy you'd be like, can't you even just talk to your wife? Can't you just tell her this is wrong? He's like, no, I just leave her. I'm like, yo, this is a guy who doesn't raise a voice. This is a, a kind man. Your whole family is literally in this house and you're taking him for granted? Because when such men learn to walk away, they will leave you. And then you get the man who is worse than, than, I don't know, God will give you maybe what you deserve. We need to learn to take people that God has given us with, you know, might, with love, treat them. Because it is so funny that even Jesus was rejected by his own people. When we went back home preaching the gospel and healing, they kept on me like, is that not Joseph's son, the carpenter? The boy who grew up around us? You can be a very important man in office, respected boss, <laughs> but you come to your house and your wife is literally slapping you, abusing you and kicking you out of the house. You can be beautiful. Everyone at office is looking at you and like, wow, this woman, I think she's loved. I mean, she has the ring, the man we did. And yet when you come back home, man is battering you. He doesn't appreciate you. He doesn't pay attention to your new hairstyle. I mean, name it. Women, we know. Because they now take you for granted. They're like, this one, now what do I tell her? Follow her all the night things. Repeat. Tell me again those things you told me. Eh? Tell me if I'm fat. Hmm? Tell me, ah, babe, I know it's the weight is coming, but... I like it. Seriously. These are things that help us in relationships. You know. And then finally, let me just talk about this finally. Don't overgive yourself. Don't give access to everyone. Because when you give access to people, they take you for granted. Scarcity is good. Sometimes disappear. Sometimes just keep quiet. You know. And make sure to love yourself because when you love yourself, you teach people how to love you. When you don't value yourself, people devalue you. When you don't speak out for yourself and tell that partner that, you know, I don't appreciate when you do this, they will keep doing that. They will still, because you're settling for less. You're not, you're not saying anything. They're going to treat you that way. It's so funny that like women today, women have so much expectations. Oh, I want a guy who is like this. I want a guy who does this. He has money. I would rather cry in a Prado, you know, than, you know, cry in a, a grass hacked house. Yo, no. As a woman, tell yourself, I'm going to work harder. I'm going to make sure I get the right person. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to have my own business. You know, think of that. But now we have so high expectations expectations but our standards are low he will have the money but he's going to beat you every time he gives you that money you're a slave to his money you see even jesus when his brothers came looking for him when he was teaching a congregation he said the people inside here those are my brothers and sisters those who are out mm -mm, there's a boundary remain out come inside if you want to be with me or partake of me that was Jesus. Even Jesus had boundaries. And you don't want to have boundaries. Let's know who we are. Let's love one another. Just taking people for granted and not even care is very dangerous for you because you might end up alone. You might end up alone because people will choose to walk away from you. God has called us to love. God has called us to be united. God has called us to appreciate. God has called us to... Look at the tiny things people do, the small, small things, and actually be excited about those things and shock them and be like, oh, why are you so happy about this? So 
call your mother, call your father, tell them I love you. I mean, appreciate your partner today when they come home. Tell them thank you for choosing me, for sticking by me. You know, to those friends who were there, to people who are always available. Take time and appreciate them. Because we just have limited time. You know, don't leave a woman who feed you, feeds your soul for a woman you think looks pretty next to you. Because what? I'm away. Sometimes we don't see the weight of things. We just rush for the, the glitter, but we don't focus on the depth of things concerning life and people connected to us. If you have enjoyed this video, I hope I've not said too much today. And I hope there's sense in this. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. My channel is growing. We are focusing on heading to 500K subscribers and please like please comment below i want to hear what you say i mean tell me what what next i should talk about just let me know what topic do you think i should talk about so i want you to know that god loves you and continue seeking his face because he's available he's everywhere i mean everywhere i love you guys so much for the love of christ see you in the next video ciao